So good morning, my name is Laura and welcome to my kitchen. This is my son Caleb and he's gonna help me today. Today we're excited to make strawberry shortcake kebabs. And uh, this is a really easy recipe. We're gonna use a bit of a starter from the farm. It's called farmhouse scone mix. So that's gonna make it really easy. And um, it's a really fun, um, for, fun for kids, but it also looks really pretty as well. So today we're gonna use our uh, farmhouse scone mix, which is a new product we started selling this spring. It's super, super handy to have in the kitchen. It's great for scones and, and savory biscuits. It's also uh, great for, to make like a, a cobbler, like a, a fruit cobbler but it works great as a strawberry shortcake recipe as well. Now, if you don't have this mix and you wanna make it from scratch, that's easy as well. We actually have um, a strawberry shortcake video and you can click on this link and um, that'll show you how to make the, the cake from scratch as well. But today we're gonna to use this. So Caleb can open that up. This is a freezer product that I keep in my freezer and uh, we, we just took it straight out of the freezer and we're gonna, we're gonna put it to use from frozen. Okay, now Caleb, you can break that up a bit. And maybe we'll just get right in there with our hands. That's better. Okay, so we're just gonna break up any of the little chunks. If you wanna avoid this, you can just take it out of your fridge a half an hour before you're ready to use it. So we are gonna just follow the instructions on the package. The only little thing we're gonna add is vanilla, and that's because Nana taught me how to make shortcake and she always adds vanilla, extra vanilla to everything and definitely to this. The recipe says to add three quarters of a cup of milk, so that's what we've got here. And then we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla to that. Perfect. And then Caleb, you can just dump that straight into here. And then mix it up. We wanna mix it until it's combined, but we don't wanna over mix it. So now this is nice and well combined, and if you need to add a little bit of extra milk, that's totally, totally fine. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna spray a nine by nine pan, and then we're gonna dump the whole thing in. There you go. And then we're gonna smooth it out so that it's as flat as possible. Okay, we're ready to put this in the oven that's preheated to 400 degrees for about 20 to 23 minutes. Okay, so the timer's gone off and here's our shortcake. I love the glass pan because then we can look on the bottom and see that it's nice and browned on the bottom. I don't want it too brown because I don't want this to dry out, but it's nice and firm. You can tell that it's baked well, a little bit golden. We're ready to go. I'm gonna take that out and let it cool for several hours until it's cold. Our cake is nice and cool now and I've acquired a few more helpers. This is Jacob. How old are you, Jacob? Four. And how, are you, how old are you, Levi? Five. And Caleb, how old are you? Seven. So I've just, these boys are just the perfect age to help me with this. So uh, our cake is cool, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it. Let's see here. Cut that in half. There we go. So. Take that out. Another strip. Pop that out. Go. I find if you go through it this direction rather than this direction, it stays together a bit, a bit better. We've got to be pretty gentle. Strawberry shortcake, strawberry. Strawberry shortcake. Strawberry. Oh, yeah. Yep, you got it. I always like to just use chocolate chips because that's what I have on hand. So I'm going to put this in the microwave. No, I'm doing it different. I probably have more than I need, but you can't really be too sorry about too much chocolate. So you probably need a half a cup of uh, chocolate chips in the microwave, and I just put it on high. So our chocolate is ready. You got to move fast on this part. Drizzle on top. No, Whoopsie. One more, one more. This is a bit of an art, but. Okay, so there we go. All right, when it comes to eating it, so they can be made ahead of time and just keep them in the fridge. In fact, they'll probably be a little, mess, a little less messy if you do them ahead of time, because then the chocolate will firm up. You can top them with a little bit of whipped cream. Okay, Jacob, hold on. Whoops! 
seat. <laughs> So this is strawberry shortcake kebabs. Very fun, very messy, and quite pretty. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.